ChairShotRealityWrestleZone.com. Make sure you check out our official website, CSRWrestling.com. Josh Eisenberg, Justin Labar here. If you go to our official website, you'll find some blogs, Vince Russo among uh, many others. And we also have Blake Mitchamore and Shane Shoemaker. Each of them wrote a blog. Blake talking about Dan O'Brien needs to retire. Hmm. Shane Shoemaker writes, Dan O'Brien never lost his smile. So two different points of view. Josh, Dan O'Brien vacating the Intercontinental title. Uh, what say you? I think Dan O'Brien right now is at a point of suspense. Nobody knows what's going to happen, if he will come back. But I do know one thing. If this is a serious injury like WWE says it is, and like you say it was last year, then Daniel Bryan needs to be off TV and actually get healthy. That's my biggest problem with WWE right now is because I do think they rushed Daniel Bryan back because they wanted him back for the biggest event of the year, WrestleMania. I understand that from a business standpoint, but Daniel Bryan needs to stay off TV, no mention, let him get healthy, and if he's healthy in January, hell, wait until March or April. You have enough talent to make up for Daniel Bryan. You need him 110% if he's going to be back in the ring. Why not the night after WrestleMania? What a great surprise that'll be after 32 in Dallas. That's my booking. That's what Daniel Bryan should be doing. The trouble is you can get to 110% of health, but with the factors that he's dealing with, uh, the increased probability and increased uh, risk of re-aggravating an injury, you can be at 110%, but it doesn't take much for one wrong thing to happen or just a couple of weeks of, uh, of wear and tear on the body to build up, and all of a sudden you're back down to 50% or, or less. The sad reality is, and, and again, I've said over and over, I'm a big Dan O'Brien fan. Josh does this. I, you know, Dan O'Brien for years. I've been all about him. But the sad reality is you got to wonder at what point do you look at are you better off not performing or not performing on a regular basis? Maybe do you become almost like a Brock Lesnar or Undertaker or Jericho or RVD where you show up every so often and you're, you're a special attraction? Uh, Brian's always going to have a draw factor. But the reason I might suggest, that, suggest this is you know, take a look at guys that we've seen that have been plagued with injuries that, that tried to come back and continue working full-time schedule. Rey Mysterio always comes to mind. And it almost became a little bit of like, a, like a, a, an evil snickering of like, here we go again, another surgery, yeah. another injury. So I, while I want to see Dan O'Brien as much as possible, I wonder if you're better off being a special attraction uh, the only problem, yeah. though, all those guys that you named, those special attractions, those guys have had longevity and have had successful careers spanning more than two, three years in WWE. I just don't know if Daniel Bryan's at that level where he can be a part-time guy like a, a, you know, like a Chris Jericho or an Undertaker or a Brock Lesnar. He doesn't have that 10, 15-year mm -hmm. track record of being a star. That's why I said on Twitter uh, that Daniel Bryan, depending on how this all shakes out, might go down as this generation's magnum TA. Yep. Just was getting to the peak, just starting to reach the potential and never got to see it through. I disagree with those of you that respond and say, let's compare him to Shawn Michaels or let's compare him to Edge. Shawn Michaels and Edge had accomplished way more before they had to step away from the game. Edge was yeah. main eventing with John Cena yeah. for a year straight. Dan O'Brien, great thing behind them, but was just starting to reach his potential. So, Like you at IWC. Yeah. <laughs> just starting to get to your potential with that title taken from you. Half a second away from beating the ECW I'm legend Tommy Dreamer. Right, Check right, it out right. on CSRWrestling.com. We got... WWE Payback Predictions coming up this weekend. Don't miss it.